attempts to influence Parliament for the Indian cause have failed. You must do more. I will not jeopardize my relationship with Queen and country to satisfy your crusade. Your Highness, you belong to India, not here acting the part of a noble foreigner. I have wasted enough time indulging in this if nonsense. If your mother could see you now, the last Maharaja of Punjab, basking inside his golden cage. How dare you? <sighs> I always recommend bringing someone's mother into the argument. If he doesn't help his people, he will regret it forever. How may we help? Will you talk to him? He won't listen to me. We'll do our best. Your Highness, you have guests. I suppose Mr. Green sent you. Bringing up your mother was... Impolite, and he was wrong to do so. We'd like to rectify the situation. Then humor me, and join me in a shooting game. None of these people have any sense of enjoyment, and I am bored to death. A shooting game? Seeing you haven't changed at all. Ellsworth? My word! <laughs> How good it is to see you! The mother country has treated you well. <laughs> uh, Jacob and Evie Fry, this is Brinley Ellsworth, a friend from a past life. You've made new friends, I see. What brings you to this part of the Empire? Ah, company business, unfortunately. But I could not resist the chance of seeing you again. It's been far too long. I've heard nobody throws a party better than my dearest friend. <laughs> I'm eager to see if your reputation overseas holds any truth. My servant Thomas will be scoring the game. <clears throat> Acquire the most amount of points by shooting the bottles in front of you. Each bottle is worth one point. You have 30 seconds. May the best shot win. Start the timer. Come, Thomas. This isn't enough of a challenge. Let's shorten the timer. Round two will now commence. Try and do as well, if not better, within a 20 second time limit. Timer at the ready. Ah, begin! <laughs> Shot eight points one. <laughs> Sing, you have quite an opponent. Your turn, Your Highness. Come, let us see if you are better with a gun than you were with a slingshot. <laughs> Allow me. Impressive. I am in awe. What they say of you is true. What on earth, sir? I believe I heard a second shot. He's right. That sounded like a second gunshot. Strange. Let me see what I can find out. I'm sure it wasn't anything serious. Don't bother. Are you suggesting this is a serious matter? It was most likely just an echo. Leave it be now. Second shot? I didn't hear anything. There was no one else. <laughs> Who would shoot a gun at a party? I've been doing this a long time. I know the difference between one shot and two. There were most definitely two shots.
What are you on about? Guns are prohibited in the gardens. I saw the man in front of me with a gun. I just assumed it was part of the decor. You know how royalty likes to socialize. That prince is causing problems. He deserves to be silenced. Kill him! You too will be soiled. Should have spent a bullet on you too. The Templar Seals. What are they up to now? You're still here? About that second shot. It was nothing, Miss Fry. Now I must return to the party. Yes, do fill me in on your life here. It's been far too long. Of course. Apologies, Your Highness. Henry will want to hear of this. Any progress? We've got a problem. We aren't the only ones seeking him out. Don't tell me the British Indies Company is harassing him again. They can't afford it. Worse, they're not acting alone. And Mr. Singh wants to be left out of it. The Templars? It can't be. We have to convince him to act quickly, or he'll be in deeper waters than he already is. Meet me back at my old shop. I might know something that can help. Good, you're here. This isn't the first time His Highness has had go. troubles with the British Indies Company. A couple of years ago, they held his mother captive and brought all his letters to her. Odds are they're keeping his correspondence from reaching the outside world once again. I have found the mail courier's schedule. There are two separate routes of transport. The first, a mail carrying carriage convoy. The second, a drone. If we set up an ambush, you should be able to seize his letters. Maybe this will change his mind. Start with the convoy. We Atta must go. block the road. There you are. The male convoy will be here any minute now. Scout the area for allies. I will guard the area. Some work for you. What you need? Oh. We've got dynamite planted near the convoy's ambush location. Aye, aye, Captain. Take them. Understood. Convoy is headed our way. Stay with Henry. Understood. Will do. Got it.
Henry will want these. Repeat the same process with the train. I must return to my shop and shall invite Mr. Singh over for a spot of tea. Any news? I've been seeing adverts for this show called this the trickster. Might be a lark. I require your help. Oh, I thought you... You're not getting anything! Oh, I will make you squeal. Oh, Those letters should be inside the train. Train's coming. Got it. Will do. Tie her out! Please Henry was right. I should show him what I found. <laughs>
There is a difference between pacifism and inaction. How many times do I have to tell oh. you? You two do have impeccable timing. Did we interrupt something? I believe these will be of interest to you, Your Highness. These letters, they are from me. The seals have been broken. That's how we found them. This... This is a letter I wrote to my mother when I was just a boy. Where did you find these possessions of mine? On a mail convoy. The Templars. They have a way of getting to you. I thought I had put an end to it years ago. But the British Indies Company continues to steal my property. You were right to think something strange was afoot. We must take action. But it will not be possible without your help. I believe you're right. But I must have some time to think on this. In the meantime, please be discreet. I don't need Her Majesty finding out about this. Again. The pleasure is mine. Shall we? It has come to my attention that the British Indies Company has stolen a large sum of wealth from the good people of Punjab. It is my intention to send it back. And where is this gold located? All I've managed to find out is that the BIC have their very own accountant. Perhaps he will have more information about this. Good plan. Apparently, he likes to frequent a certain pub. The accountant should be here somewhere. Back apologies, but I don't hang around with that sort. Perhaps there'll be another fight. Oh, you just missed him. He headed to the bank with a couple of men I'd never seen before. Which is odd, because the bank isn't even open now that I think of it. He's right. We should go to the bank. When I get over there, I'm... The bartender was right. Easy now. It's closed. We have to find another way in. I will secure a safe route before following you inside. Get in first. I'll join you later. The accountant should be nearby. Perhaps I should check the vaults. I'm on the right path. He's around here somewhere. Just in time. You think you can just go shooting him out off at any opportunity? Do you have any idea who you're working for? The BIC accounts are confidential. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Just let me go and I'll be quiet. I promise you. Not a chance. 
We'll take them out together, but we've got to do so quietly. You take one, I'll take the other. Ready? I am indebted to you. The British Indies thugs have somewhat worked him over. We need to get him to safety. There's someone intruding on our affairs. Find them and kill them. We must bring the accountant with us. He'll die if we leave him here. Let's get out of here. Thank you both. I... I would have died back there. What can I do to repay you? We need to know what the British Indies Company wants with the stolen Punjabi gold. That I do not know. What I can tell you is that they've taken it to a warehouse and it. Whatever they want with it, it can't be good. You don't hold people hostage when there's good news on the line. Quick, put him in the back. I will take him to the hospital. Please, don't leave me behind. We shall reconvene later. Thank you, Miss Fry. Discovered more information on our stolen gold. To my carriage. Go on. It's all quite strange. The British Indies Company working with a temple. And for what? There you are. Perhaps we will never know. The account has revealed they're hiding a shipment of gold, previously stolen from India, in a carriage at an old Sarik warehouse. We must find this carriage and steal it from them. And what of you? Why, I'm here to help you, of course. They don't call me the fourth best shot in London for nothing. Come on! The gold must be found. Faster! Move it! Calmly. This is it. The gold That's is it. here somewhere. Return to me once you've found it, and I'll stay behind and keep an eye out for trouble. Mm -hmm. This is where the gold is located. Yeah. 
This is it. The gold must be inside. Now to sneak it out of here. The Templars are not far away, and we must lose them. I'll keep the wolves at bay. Your Highness. Hurry, go! I must get rid of these pursuers. is jammed. Take my place. I get the feeling you've done this before. for those bullets now. I think we lost them. Good work. You were quite impressive out there, if I may say. Oh, you're too kind. It was rather exhilarating, if I'm being honest. <clears throat> now, I've hired a captain to escort the gold overseas. If you would kindly fetch the crate from the back. Away that easily, thief. Okay, 
Are you quite all right? You had me frightened. I'm all right. Really. I commend you for fighting them off. Really. With you at my side, it will be an almost simple task to send this gold back to where it belongs. Why don't you walk off that last fight and come back to me when you're ready for the next leg of the journey? There's still work to be done. Where were we? We must return this gold to its people. My people. I procured us a captain to transport it to its destination. But our next feat will be to get it out of London. And we must protect it. Precisely. Now, if you would be so good as to bring the gold aboard, we can get going. Let us away, friend. I knew we wouldn't get far without another appearance from them. Look out! Stand back! No, we're in this together.
a strong effort into protecting this gold. Captain, enough time. Now we must escort this boat to the next dock where we may disembark. And then this vessel will be clear of enemy waters. We've done some good today. I can feel it. I'm glad you feel that way, Your Highness. We're not finished yet. I think that's the last of them. 
The gold is in safe hands. We did a good job today. May this not be the end of our adventures together. No, let's not end this partnership just yet. We can only move forward from here. Good day. Your Highness! They are stubborn fellows, aren't they? Now, if you would be so kind as to excuse me. I've had quite a bit of excitement today and must think on it. Do come see me again. Henry has an idea of what we'll tackle next. He is waiting for us at Southwark Station. Go ahead. I will join you there. Done too much. The British Indies Company are trying to catch your train. My goodness. Agnes, I hope she's all right. Poor Agnes. I'll see to this immediately. I can handle the rest of here. Catch up with your train. Mr. Gibson is the Whitechapel station. The train is too far. I'll need to catch up by carriage. I should take the Maharaja's carriage. Atta girl. Here we go again. What a catastrophe. 
The British Indies Company must not be very happy with how things are progressing. You could say that. That should keep him quiet for a while. Perhaps this is not the best time to bring up what I called you here for. I have another plan. I'm listening. It may sound mad, but I propose we steal the Koenor diamond. A piece of the royal jewels? Whatever for? Her Majesty may wear it, but it doesn't belong to her. It was a trophy, symbolizing the colonization of India, and it deserves to be returned home. It would be an extremely delicate mission, but I know you'd be more than capable of such a feat. I have already procured some information pertaining to the location of the Koinor. Come and find me when you've had a moment to think it over. to the ground and found someone who may know the location of the Koinor diamond. Excellent. Heisa, my favorite. A man by the name of Cornelius Toti Button. Beer drinker. What? I can tell. He is apparently... Latest news of London. Lord Cardigan speaks exclusively to our correspondent. He doesn't have to say anything to you. Not with the royal jeweler this evening. It's a shame to drink alone. Whatever it is you want from me, I'm not interested. What I am interested in is ordering another pint. I'll tell you what. If I can outdrink you, you tell me where the famous Koinor diamond is located. <laughs> you think you can drink me under the table? That's a lot to wager on a losing battle. I'll take that as an accepted challenge then. Barkeep, two pints over here. happened last night? Well, I'll never make it back to the train in this state. I'll have to try to remember what happened. I know I was at a pub, but which one? Ah, you survived the night, I see. I wasn't sure what would become of you. You're back. I thought I'd seen the last of you when you sorted off to that shooting competition. The name of the game is... Shoot the bottle? Precisely. Can you do it? Can you tell me where the diamond is? You have to beat me at this first.
on me. This is a pretty good shot. Uh, you're a good shot. Better than I ever would have guessed. We're done with this pub, but not done for the night. Onto the bricklayer's arms with you, Johnny boy. Follow me. It's Jacob. Did you see that? Who did that? Who did what? Never mind, Cornelius. Just tell me where the diamond is. Someone spilled it. Some bastard spilled my beer. Listen. Beer. Fine. I'll find the fool that did this. Someone's drink? Why would I ever do such a nasty thing? One for the books, or so I heard. Lots of sweat, blood and tears last night. Those blighters can put on quite a show. Walk away with full pockets from those games they do. Sour punch. Dwindling in number, but absolute terrors in this particular neighborhood. Last night's game. Why I won that fair and square. If Cornelius is still going on about that, he deserves a kick in the mouth. His money is mine and there's nothing he can do about it. The pettiest thing someone can do, if you ask me. You have to have one ugly personality to do that, you do. I was talking to that yarn-spinning oath, Dickens, when I turned back to my drink, and it's all over the place. I bet you good money those evil blighters did this. Well, what about them? I hate those bastards. They love to terrorise me. You need to do something about them. You've got the wrong man. I haven't played a game of cards since a dog's age. <laughs> You think I spilled my own beer? Yeah, Ludicrous! Wait, hey, well, maybe I did. There he is! Oh, piss off boy, get yourself out of the time to fight me like a real man! Skins and fists! Better get out of here before they start asking for more. Oh, bloody hell. Well, that was a bit frightening now, wasn't it? Uh, I think I'm gonna be sick. None of that now. Come, let's get you home. I don't think I can stand. You must be joking. Joseph, I'm so glad to have a friend to join me. You're the nitwit from the sub! Let's make them sorry for poking their nose in the wrong places. Come the fuck on, or fuck it! We had such fun! 
We should do this every night. Are you still talking? I think I overdid it tonight. Oh well, I'll sleep it off. This is my place. You're a good drinker, you know. You might be better than me. I am. And never you forget it. Good night, then. Julia! But wait... At least I know where to find him. Where is that button, fool? you get up here? I walked you home. Jacob? Finally! Now tell me, where is the bloody diamond? Does this technically count as winning? All right, all right. It's in the Tower of London. Surprise! Being held there until tonight's gala finishes, and then it will be shipped back to the royal jeweler for another cutting. Many thanks. Buttons. Now hold on right there. you're late? Me? Never. I was simply retrieving the information you sent me to get. It was easy, really. Something about an event happening tonight at the Tower of London. The gala? I will be attending. You're our inn, then. You can't just barge in and steal the crown jewels. She's right. We need a plan. Oh, bother. Jacob, you can escort Mr. Singh to tonight's event. This will give you a chance to slip away from the party and find the koh i -Noor. I'll take care of the guards around the perimeter. Meet me at the top of the White Tower. Good! Another chance to wear the suit. No weapons allowed. Where's the fun in that? I should find Singh. The jewels are being held upstairs, but be careful. If this isn't one of the most heavily guarded places, then I'm a true Englishman. I may need your help to distract these guards. Just give me the signal. I should send a signal to sing to distract the guards. I've never been upstairs. Do tell me what it's like. So then, then I replaced all his sneakings with cravat pins. <laughs> Found him! 
Fetch you! Oh. <laughs> The diamond is on the second floor. It's awfully quiet up here. Guards asleep. I wonder what's inside that crate. Someone got here before I did. Well, if the diamond's not here, I've got to find it before it leaves the building, if it hasn't already. Where could it have gone? This plan was genius. We'll get in this time. Friends with the Queen? Ha! She won't be friends with him when she finds the diamond is in his pocket. He'll never see it coming. They planted the diamond on the leap. No, I need to lift the diamond from Sing's pocket. Another day, another dead body. I need to lift the diamond from. You flatter me. Oh, now, do tell me. We have to find my sister. We met at the mission. Go away. It's the White Tower. The place is crawling with Templars. I've got to secure the perimeter.
What took you so long? Bit of a mishap. Here it is. What happened? Somebody stole it first. The safe had been robbed by the time I got there. The British Indies Company will stop at nothing. There was a plan to frame Singh. I lifted it from him before the Royal Guards found it. Imagine the look on Her Majesty's face if... They must know by now that their plan was foiled. You're welcome. I think it's time to depart. I need to find a way out of here. Get out, all right. <laughs> Did you get it to your sister? Just barely. What do you mean? I'll tell you about it another time. You encountered some trouble? We can't speak of this here. The British Indies Company is up to no good again. Outside, then. You, sir! Halt for inspection! <laughs> I beg your pardon? Search him! Nothing. The Corinor isn't here. But of course there's nothing. What do you take me for? Oh, some sort of criminal? that commotion about, Mr. Singh? I do believe they thought I was trying to pinch the koh your ladyship. Ha! Huh. The koh -i -noor? Who on earth would want to steal that potato? Good night, your highness. We barely got out of there in one piece. The British Indies Company tried to plant the diamond on you and frame you for stealing it. Luckily, I was there just in the nick of time. We need to meet back at Mr. Green's shop. I must see the diamond with my own two eyes. Glass? The real Koino never left India. Had I known you planned to reclaim it, 
I would have stopped you. My father ensured it never fell into Templar hands. Your father? He has done a great service to me and my people. My words to you earlier were unfair. You were not wrong. I too have grown frustrated with my lack of progress. Shall we let bygones be bygones? We need to find out who's behind all of this, and why the Templars and the British Indies companies have joined forces. What we should do is track them down and destroy their headquarters. Jacob. That may not be such a terrible idea, Mr. Fry. I spoke with Mr. Green, and we have discovered the location of the British Indies' secret headquarters. You are to meet him, and he will give you the details. There is a foundry nearby where the Templars and BIC go. You made it. You found the British Indies Company hideout? They've taken over an abandoned foundry. It's heavily fortified, and word has it, they're shipping something precious overseas. My gut tells me that something precious is something bad. My thoughts exactly. Go find out what they're protecting and destroy it. Maybe you'll discover why they're after Mr. Singh. So this is where they've been keeping that sleeping gas. They can't leave London. They're shipping this to India? No. What do they want this for? War? I must destroy them. Oh, <laughs> 
Fetch the manager. Is that Ellsworth? I'd better get a closer look. Destroyed? How? There's someone in the vicinity! A spy! Run it out of rocks, I wager! Oh, it must be those damned renegades Singer's friends with. Who knew one caged bird could cause so much trouble? You're caught, Ellsworth. Give up. I knew you had something to do with this. Seize him! He got away. I must tell Sing of this news immediately. What did you find out? Who's behind all of this? You are not gonna like what I have to tell you, Your Highness. Brinley Ellsworth is behind the attacks. Ellsworth? He was gone before I had a chance to follow him. But we need to track him down and put an end to this before anything worse happens. I need some time to think on this. case of madness this morning. You were right when you said that this was our chance. I was. I propose we make a commotion. Lure out the Templar-controlled British Indies Company. And do what? Put yourself in the line of fire? I need to send Ellsworth a message. This won't be over until we can draw him out. This is something I must do. I will make a scene, and then you need to rough them up a little. Well, that shouldn't be a problem. You Templars are a bunch of pansies. Here we go. Please spare me! 
I need you to send a message to Ellsworth. I'll do anything. Tell him to meet me at Lambeth Cemetery tonight and tell him to come alone. Meet me tonight at Lambeth Cemetery. He'll never come alone, even if I ask him to. Caused quite a commotion. He's gone mad. Greeny was right. He isn't mad, Jacob. He's trying to take action. To do the right thing. Oh, never mind. I'll take it from here. Fine by me. I could use a good pint right about now. Oh, I was expecting Jacob, but I'm glad it's you who have come. He thinks you've gone mad. I probably have. What's your plan? I've asked Brinley to meet me here alone. In turn, he, of course, has sent a small army to secure the area. I need you to get rid of them and meet me back here. It's essential that when Brinley does arrive, I have him to myself. Understood. <laughs> That'll certainly help quite a bit, thank you. He's here. I must talk to him. Don't be absurd, this is dangerous. Miss Fry, this is something I must do, and I must do it alone. Remain hidden. I cannot afford to have him see you. You can't escape me forever, Your Highness. Come out and face me. the uprising when they find out the only son of Ranjit Singh has been murdered. <laughs> you think they remember you? Uh. You are a lost soul. A monarch who has abandoned his people. You are nothing. Uh. Friends! <laughs> you are no more than a plaything. Prisoner. In Prince's clothes. <clears throat> lucky to be alive. I admit, I'm surprised they let you live. Elsworth, listen. Ugh, I've had enough of this. <laughs> You mustn't! He will kill! 
kill you! This is what I was sent here for. Be done with it, girl! I shall never forfeit my own mission. I will not allow it. The logins, the company, they all wanted your silence. Whether you spare me or end me, you won't escape the fate they have planned for you. It seems you have learnt nothing of India, of its people. But killing you? That is something I cannot do. It would make me no better than the cursed, oppressive company you work for. Yeah. You will die as you were raised, Sing. You'll never be more than a, a trophy of war. We will bury you in English soil. You have done me much good. I am heavily indebted to you both. We are happy to help. I fear that I cannot continue handling things in this manner. The assassin way is not my way. As helpful as you have been. This empire, this land, my people. The problem is so much bigger than death. I know I must devote my life to this cause. To put India, my home, back onto the map. Return it to its people. It's a long and grueling journey, but it is something I must do, even if it takes me to my own death. We understand, Your Highness. But if you do change your mind, you know where to find us. That I do. Thank you, Assassins. Hopefully we never shall meet again. Henry's in a foul mood. Lover spat.